Who doggies? We got a good one for you today. You've been thinking about making pork chops, some summer vegetables, and crispy potatoes. Why don't you try this meal out? So here we got the blackstone. We got it ripping hot. Here we got our vegetables: we got some squash, zucchini, tomatoes, onions, and carrots. We're gonna throw them down. Give them a couple quick tosses. Hit them with a little salt. If you don't have an outdoor griddle, you could do these right on the stove top in a pan. We're going to take advantage of the gorgeous weather, and we're cooking outside today. So we're just going to get a, a lid for a pan. Throw it over top. Help them veggies cook through real quick. Come down with a good hefty tablespoon or so of butter. We got them pork chops marinating and some soy sauce, some garlic, a little brown sugar, and a little ginger. We're just going to pat them dry. They were in the fridge, I don't know, about an hour or so. We're just going to season them up using salt. I made a little rub of uh, some granulated garlic, black pepper, and a little paprika. I had a little more brown sugar in there also. Season up to one side and we'll throw that right down. Pull that lid off them veggies. Toss them around a bit more. We we'll hit them with a little soy sauce. The low sodium. Or we salt to taste, or we just can use that soy sauce for a little bit of color. Get it all incorporated. Check the underside of them pork chops. Starting to get a nice crust on them. So we're going to flip them over. They've only been on a few minutes now. So I know these pork chops aren't done, but we're just going to check the temperature here. They're about 83 degrees. So now we're just going to move them all the way to the right, just the cool side of, that, of the griddle. We're gonna let them hang out over there a bit. We're gonna come down, a little pat of butter on each one. Just let it cook a little bit longer. And veggies are about done. We're gonna take them off, set them in a bowl, keep them covered to keep them warm. And flip them chops over again. We're gonna hit them with that lid, help them cook through a little quicker. Should've been on a few more minutes. Let's see where they're at now. Perfect, 143, 144. We're gonna pull them off and let them rest. So we just got them baby reds, put them in the microwave for just a few minutes, help them soften them up. We're just going to come in with the big spatula and we're just going to smash them all down. I've really been liking cooking on this Blackstone. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more recipes. So here we just got a little bit of butter. We're just going to throw right with the potatoes and mix them all up. If you notice, I did turn the uh, the burners down on, on the left side there when I threw the potatoes on. So we're just going to hit them with a little salt and pepper. Big conch and spoonful of minced garlic. Just keep tossing them around a little bit. You know we're coming in with that Parmesan cheese. Keep moving around. You don't want to burn the potatoes. They're nice and crispy. You can take them aside, set them in the bowl. And here's what's going to set your pork chops over the top. We've chopped up some green onions. We're just chopping up some parsley. We're going to come in with about a half stick of butter here. We're going to let her melt down a little bit. This is a real simple way to add extra flavor to any kind of meat you're cooking. So butter's cooked down, we're just going to go in with them green onions and parsley. 
We're just going to fry them in that butter for a couple of minutes. Let that partially wilt down a little bit. And we're just going to top each pork chop with a good portion of that herb butter we just made. I wish you guys could be here to smell it. But I can't wait to try it. There's only one thing left to do now. We're going to cut into these pork chops, see how they are. We're going to taste these veggies, potatoes. We hit them with a little bit more of the fresh green onions. Knife cuts right through. You see it's cooked perfectly. Make sure you get some of them herbs on there. And that's a home run right there. You got to try pork chops this way with that herb butter. And now we'll even taste the vegetables here at Carnivore's Corner. They're slamming too. Don't sleep on them crispy smashed potatoes. You gotta try this one out. Simple meal, real quick to cook. As always, thanks for watching.